If you're watching this video, you definitely want to find an easy, effortless method to transfer files between your computer and your smartphone. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. And the advantage with this method is that you need to set it up once. And once you set it up, you don't need to set this up again. So we're going to be creating an FTP server with the aid of an app, which is free on the Google Play Store to get. And this app is called Wi-Fi FTP server. So just open your Play Store and search for Wi-Fi FTP server. So when this comes, this is the first one that I have here from Medha Apps. I'm going to open this and I'm just going to install this. So once you have the software installed, the next step is to just open the software or just start it. So when you open the software, this is what you see. And in order to enable communication between our PC and the smartphone, I'm going to click start or select start here. And of course, I have to allow the FTP server application to access the files on my PC or my phone. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to connect to um, the computer. So I'm going to allow this. What you see is that the application creates a server for you, an FTP server. So FTP generally means file transfer protocol. And this, you have a server URL, which you're going to be using to transfer the files between your smartphone and your PC. And now that we have the software set up, we're going to move to the computer and continue the rest of the settings. Okay, there are two ways of doing this. One way is to use an application, which is an FTP transfer um, application. And the second method is to just um, connect this directly on your Windows without using the application. So I'm going to teach you all the two methods to do this. So the first method, I'm just going to open my computer. So click my PC, this PC, and on the right side, just right click here and select add a network location. So over here, what I'm going to be adding is I'm going to be adding the server URL that was created on the application from the smartphone. So I'm just going to type this as I saw. So click next and here choose a custom network location. I'm going to select this and go to next. And the next stage, I'm going to type in the server URL that was generated by the app. So this is FTP colon slash slash 192.168.68.1 0 0 so once you have this just click next and it's very important that you select here log in anonymously so i'm going to click next and i'm going to call this um, location that i'm creating my galaxy so once I have this created, you can change the name to whatever you want. If you want to just type my phone, you can also type my phone. When you have this, click next here and open this location, network location when I'm finished. Of course, I want this, so I'll just click finish. And over here, you can see that it opens the files on my PC. So very easily, if I want to create a folder, I can just right click, go to new folder, and I can just call it folder file transfer. So I can just open the folder that I created now I'm going to transfer files between my PC to the folder that I just created on my smartphone. So I'm just going to go to my desktop. I have some files that I just want to use as a, as an example. So here I'm going to transfer all these files here into the smartphone. This is so fast and the files are already transferred. So to prove that the files are transferred, I'm going to switch now to my smartphone and show you that I really have the files transferred. So I'm going to go to my file manager. I'm going to search here for file manager, which is my files. And the folder that I created, if you remember, was called file transfer. So this is what you see here. I have file transfer. And as you can see, I have three files that I just transferred between my smartphone, between the computer and the smartphone. If I want to delete this, this is very easy. I can just select all the files and click delete. So yes, I want to delete and I press delete. And if I refresh this folder, you see that on I don't see the files that I just copied onto the PC or onto the smartphone, sorry. So this is very easy, but the most important thing that you have to take note of the fact is that you need to have the same connection or the same Wi-Fi between your smartphone and your computer. If you do not have the same Wi-Fi connection, this is not going to work. So if you do not have a Wi-Fi connected, it's very easy to do this as well. All you have to do is to create a Wi-Fi hotspot with your phone and connect your computer to the same Wi-Fi hotspot that you have created. So what is very important for the sake of security is that each time you are finished with a file transfer, please turn off the application. So this is very easy to do. When you scroll down, you can just click FTP server and just click stop. So once you stop the application from running, 
you do not have any access to your smartphone anymore. So to give you an example, I'm going to try to connect again to the FTP server that I created, although I know that the connection has been disconnected. I'm going to refresh this and here I'm going to double click. So when I double click, it appears that it's working, but it's not working it's because it's because my computer has saved some cache files. So when I try to open something here, you see that nothing is working. It tells me that the Windows could not access the folder because the the permission is not granted. This is just because the application has been stopped on my phone. So I'm going to teach you how to do this again. If you want to reactivate this, just open your, your Wi-Fi FTP server again, click Start, come to your My Computer, refresh this, and double click to open. So now you can see that I have access to all the folders that I have on my smartphone as well. The second method that I'm going to be teaching you is to be using a software called FileZilla. So the advantage with this software is that, for instance, if I'm transferring a huge number of files between my computer to my smartphone, I would always have this copying a window open here. And if I have something that I'm doing on my computer, of course, I do not want to have this window obstructing what I'm doing. So there's a software called FileZilla, which basically allows you to transfer files between your smartphone or between two servers through this FileZilla application. So to install the software, I'm just going to go to my Google Chrome and over here, I'm going to type in FileZilla download. So just open download FileZilla client for Windows, then click download FileZilla client. I'm going to choose download here, which is a normal FileZilla that I need. You actually do not need a pro, but if you want to buy it, why not? So I'm going to open the file that was downloaded by double clicking here. I'm going to run, I'm going to try to install the software now. So once your software is installed, it asks you if you want to install this for one user or if you want to install this for all the users on the PC, but I would like to install this for all users. So I'm just going to select anyone who uses this PC, go to next, 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 next. So here you have to be careful so the application comes with some other things that you do not need so sometimes if you are clicking next 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 you end up installing things that you do not need as well so for instance here it's telling me that it wants to give me a mcafee web advisor which i do not need so i'm going to click decline so now the application is going to be installed so once the application is installed you can start the application or i can also show you where to find the application so typically you have when i press windows d you can just find FileZilla and you can open the application here. So click OK here and now I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing is that I don't want to be typing in the URL that a smartphone created for me every day. So I'm going to be adding my FTP server that I created on my phone directly to my FileZilla. So to do this, click here to open the site manager and I'm going to create a new site. So the new site I'm going to be calling my Galaxy. And over here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be copying the, the server URL that was generated on my smartphone, which is, so here you don't need to add the FTP that is added here because the software automatically knows that you are trying to connect to two servers using an FTP transfer protocol. So here I'm just going to type in the 192.168.68.100. And here, you do not need to add the 2221 because this is a port number. So you can just add here the port number, which is the one after the 100, which is 2221. And over here, change the log on type from normal to anonymous and click OK. Here, I do not want to save any password because I do not have any password saved on it. And this would be OK. So once you finish with the site entry, it's very easy to access the files on your phone now. What is most important here is that you make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your computer. And secondly, that you have started the FTP server on your smartphone. So when you do this, just come here, click on the down arrow here, go to my Galaxy, which is the new site entry that I created. And I'm easily connected to my smartphone. If I want to transfer files, just assess where you want to transfer the files to. You can also create a new folder here, trials. I'll just call this trials. And I'm going to access some files on my computer and try try to com, um, copy these onto my smartphone. So go to your desktop. I save these files on my desktop. So I go to my desktop, go to files to transfer. And I want to transfer these three files onto my smartphone. So I'm just going to select the three files and I'm going to drag this here. So the advantage with this method is that I can, con I can reduce or minimize the 
FTP transfer protocol and be doing something else with my PC so that once it finishes, I can come back here, close this, and I don't have any obstruction um, whilst copying the files onto my smartphone. So now as you can see, the files are successfully transferred and I have a notification here that the files that I wanted to copy to my smartphone are now transferred. And once you are finished, please remember once again to click the stop to disconnect yourself or to disconnect your smartphone from the FTP server. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to, con to write to me in the comments and I will try as much as possible to respond to all the comments that are addressed to me. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel and to click the like button if this video was helpful to you and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.